Hey guys, it's Monday and it's a new video about the latest celebrity gossip. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and push the like button if you like this video. So first topic we're gonna talk about today is MGK and Megan Fox. Uh, their relationship were kind of strange to me to be honest because um, there's age difference and rappers are not really good husbands. But let's give a shout out to MGK for giving it a try but apparently something wrong in their kingdom. Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly are continuing to prioritize their relationship. This according to a source who tells People, the actress is still upset following a recent dispute with the musician, but the pair are working through their issues and haven't split. The source says that neither Fox nor Kelly are giving up on their relationship and explain, quote, they are getting professional help because they want to work things out. Over the weekend, Fox hinted at a possible breakup on Instagram before removing all photos and videos of herself with Kelly, then deactivating her account altogether. Her final post featured a caption of lyrics from Beyonce's song, Pray You Catch Me. You can taste the dishonesty. It's all over your breath. In the comments section, there was some speculation that Kelly had been unfaithful with a woman named Sophie, whom fans believe to be Sophie Lloyd, the guitarist in Kelly's band. In a statement issued Wednesday, Lloyd's management team said, quote, any suggestion that she has ever acted in an unprofessional manner or stepped out of her relationship are untrue. First, let's give it a round of applause for his hair. MGK has a nice hair. And actually, this guy was balding like crazy a few years ago, but he did probably a good operation. How's it called? Uh, I forgot. But like hair transplant. That's what it is. Hair transplant. He got an amazing hair transplant. And uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes females are delusional. And I understand love and passion and relationship. But MGK is a rock star. He lives like a rock star. Uh, I mean, he changed his behavior, not doing drugs anymore like he did before. But he's still like a rock star. And I remember his relationship with Amber Rose and a lot of celebrity girls and all of a sudden Megan Fox decided that she, he's gonna be faithful. I mean, nothing wrong with that, I understand, but Megan, let's just be honest and real, he's not gonna be faithful to you. Second topic is Selena Gomez, she gained some weight, yeah, actually, when I saw the first episode of her show Only Murders in the Building, I noticed that Selena is not looking the same. but. Yeah, I understand some haters gonna hate, but Selena give it a fight and she slams back at her haters. I would much rather be healthy and take care of myself and my medications are important and I believe and they are what helps me. Selena Gomez getting real about her struggles with lupus. I'm very honest though in general. The star goes live on Instagram to explain how medication for her diagnosis affects her body tend to hold a lot of water weight and that happens very normally and then when I'm off of it I tend to to kind of lose weight. She also takes a moment to send a heartfelt reminder to fans. I just I just wanted to say and encourage anyone out there who feels any sort of shame for exactly what they're going through and nobody knows the real story so I just want people to know that you're beautiful and you're wonderful. But doesn't hesitate calling out the haters too. Thanks for supporting me and understanding. And if not, go away. Cause honestly, I, I don't believe in shaming people for body or anything. In her case, I wouldn't shame her because yeah, she has a disease and she's doing medication for this disease. And that's why she's gaining weight. But other cases, even me, when I'm gaining weight, it's not good for me. I understand that. It's for our society when people say it's not bad to gain weight, love yourself and stuff like that. I don't agree with that because if you're gaining weight, it's not good for you. Realize that. You're like a lot of people who died because of coronavirus were overweight. I mean, I understand we can gain some weight at some point of our lives, stress, a crazy lifestyle, work from nine to five, but it's not good for you. And I don't understand these people that, that saying that, oh, it's not good to body shame. It's not, it, we love yourself and love each other, whatever. I understand all of these messages, but yeah, let's not hate these people, but say to them, it's not good to be overweight. And Selena Gomez, yeah, of course she can, she did a good thing that she explained why she gained weight 
why she did that. She didn't say, oh, that's fine, that I gained weight. She was like, kinda, yeah, I gained weight, I don't like that, but it is what it is, I'm fighting with my disease. And we understand that, I understand that gratefully, because I know people who had same issues. They uh, use drugs uh, with hormones and they gain a lot of weight. So unfortunately, Selena Gomez, uh, hopefully she'll be all right at the end. Another sad story, Bruce Willis got diagnosed with dementia. Unfortunately, a beloved actor that I remember from my childhood, from all his Die Hard movies and other movies that he was super popular actor, top five actors in his uh, era, A-list actor, but unfortunately, uh, oh, when you're getting old, it comes to us. And Bruce Willis is not exception of the rule. Bruce's loved ones revealing the news today. Now, here is the latest on the Willis family's new heartbreak. Here is Bruce just over a week ago, looking strong, upbeat, and even whistling while out in LA with a friend. Today, Bruce's blended family, who refer to themselves as the Ladies of Willis Moore, revealed his brain disease has progressed to frontotemporal dementia. Symptoms can include impaired judgment, loss of speech, and no longer knowing the meaning of words. The statement revealed, quote, challenges with communication are just one symptom Bruce faces, and there are no treatments. Ten months ago, Bruce's family first revealed he was retiring from acting due to his diagnosis with aphasia. The brain disease also causes gradual loss of speech and the ability to understand language. The last time E.T. spoke with Bruce was in 2018. At the time, his speech was seemingly slower. What's your favorite memory from that set? From Die Hard? Yeah. Mm. I never really got hurt. Yeah. Got banged up, but, but, not really but, not, but not bad. It's unclear just how much Bruce is able to currently communicate, but it seems like he can still express himself through music. <laughs> Last year, Bruce's number one fan, second wife Emma Hemming, posted this jam session saying, quote, talent is speaking for itself. See, it's like uplifting video. Bruce is doing his okay, and he tries to live his life as we all should, and hopefully he will get at least 20, 30, 40 more years in his life and be okay. Maybe, who knows, maybe one day we'll get some drugs against dementia. But my last message to every one of you, just stay strong, live your every day to your fullest. See you next week. Thank you for watching and bye.